Hello everyone and welcome to Mountain Lake Journal. I'm Tom Helling. A couple of close calls this summer is prompting new calls for stepped up state and federal assistance and new warnings about the impact invasive species could have on forest and waterways in the Adirondacks. Forestry experts from the DEC and Adirondack Park Invasive Plant Program surveyed eastern hemlock trees on Prospect Mountain in Lake George this week, looking for signs of a tiny insect that could be a huge threat to Adirondack forests. It was here a month ago an ecologist spotted a small cluster of hemlock woolly adelgid on a few branches of an old growth hemlock on the state forest preserve. Luckily, the infestation was small and in the early stages. Three trees, they're all fairly close together on the hillside uh, just above us here. And the surveys right after it was first found and the survey today hasn't turned up any additional yet? Correct. Uh, uh, right after it was found, uh, we had a survey of about 23 acres centered around the trees that were infested and uh, that turned up nothing. And we expanded that survey onto private lands and state lands within a five mile radius. And, uh, and we've, I believe the crews have walked you know, over 140 miles of transects looking for hemlock woolly delgin and have found nothing. Even though the insect has been in New York for decades, it is the first time it's been discovered in the Adirondack Park. And although the adelgid can be treated with insecticide, many worry as it invades the Adirondacks, larger infestations could ravage millions of hemlock trees throughout the park. We're hoping it might be an isolated incident. And uh, once we treat it with insecticide, uh, we can then go back to the progression line that's in the southern New York and just kind of follow that as it progresses north. The thought is it will get here someday. The hope is you'd like to have a few more years before. Correct, yeah. With more time, uh, we may find a better way to fight it. And just a few weeks ago, Lake Stewart's from Paul Smith's College intercepted an incredibly aggressive invasive species just before it reached Upper Saranac Lake. About a foot-long strand of hydrilla was found on a jet ski that arrived at this state boat launch at Saranac Inn. Hydrilla, much like milfoil, can quickly take over a waterway, creating large mats of dense plants that swimmers and boaters get tangled in and that muscle out native plants. And while there is relief the lake stewards here found it in time, there is also concern among local leaders and lake groups that the same jet ski with hydrilla got by stewards at another inspection station in Lake George. So it's troublesome that it's, that it's here, but it's also troublesome that it was missed. Fred Monroe, the, the former supervisor in Chestertown, says prevention is the only way to protect Adirondack lakes from invasive species and the region's economy, which is driven by tourism and recreation. Lake associations and environmental advocates have been calling for Lake George's mandatory inspections of boats and jet skis to be expanded to boat launches throughout the Adirondack Park. It's not 24 hours a day. It's not even seven days a week at many of the places. And many of the boat launches are, when they're not staffed, they're, they're wide open. And at a time when grant money that's helping to staff dozens of inspection sites is in jeopardy of being cut or eliminated by the Trump administration, advocates have called on members of Congress to step in. And during recent stops in the North Country, both U.S. Senator Chuck Schumer and Congresswoman Elise Stefanik have said they will work to preserve, if not expand, funding to fight invasive species. In the budget that was the president proposed, they cut the money that would help invasive, to help us fight invasive species rather significantly. And Democrats and Republicans in the House and Senate came together and said no. I was one of them, because I think it's so important. In New York, we're afflicted by many different kinds of invasive species. I've introduced legislation to stamp out Invasive Species Act, which would uh, require the Postal Service to issue a stamp uh, that would uh, provide funds to combat invasive species, much like the breast cancer stamp did to uh, help fund breast cancer research. Um, I'm hopeful to get bipartisan support for that.